You can catch Extra Butter with Marcus Allen right here on ABC 10 every Friday right after YCL. But right now, Mark is traveling to get us all of those exclusive interviews. In fact, he recently caught up with Margot Robbie and the Birds of Prey cast. No biggie. He's just hanging out with Harley Quinn and the gang. Check it out. You know the Academy Awards are this weekend, but instead of congratulating movies, if you like going to the movies, might I suggest Academy Award nominee Margot Robbie in Birds of Prey. Check it out. The movie is remarkable. If you like action, hell hath no fury like the Joker's ex-girlfriend, and that would be your Harley Quinn. I went to London to catch up with Margot and her cast to talk about it. Take a look. First of all, it has the most committed title in the history of cinema. So in unison, all three of you, oh the name of this movie is One, Two, Three. Birds, Birds of, of Prey and, and the, the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Quinn. What so I that. love about it, I went down the press line Freedom. talking to some of the fans of the movie. Yeah, cheater, you had a cheat sheet over there. <laughs> uh, I was trying to get people to screw it up. Everybody knows the title. They got the whole thing right. Oh. And I'm thinking, but I'm thinking about you. How, how are you not bruised and contused and torn? Uh, yeah, no, there was a lot of that. Uh, every movie kind of turned black and blue at some point. But uh, no bad no bad injuries. I've, I've had worse. <laughs> I've had much worse, yeah. What's the day on the set where you quickly put on the producer hat and wanted to run into Video Village for playback because you loved the way something went down? Oh, so many times. I mean, I, I loved watching everyone else, though. I, I feel like I, for a while it was just Christina and I with this script for a couple of years. So, I, you know, it would just be us reading the lines over and over, trying to find the right sort of um, rhythm and pace. So to see other actors step in and embody these roles and just do something with them that beyond what we could have even dreamed of, it was always so exciting. And I, I particularly really enjoyed watching... Um, Chris and Ewan stuff, Black Mask and Zaz, because on the page, they're, 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 you know, it was more of a work relationship, and then what they brought to it turned it into this very fascinating, personal, kind of like wrestle between control and dependency, and I was loving it, yeah. So how do you keep grounded at this time in your life? Do you ever think back to the days where you wanted to be an actress and you were hoping for some success, and now you see yourself launching one of the biggest movie franchises of all time, and at the same time, then you have to put on a gown and go to the Oscars and see how that works out? Yeah, it's weird. Life has just gotten progressively weirder um, every year. I, I, I don't know where it's heading. Um, and look, maybe it'll just disappear one day, so I'm just going to ride the wave while I can. I didn't know her before this, but she's certainly very grounded. That's what, I love a lot of things about her, but that's the number one thing. She's like completely not forgotten where she came from and, and who she was before all this. And that was the example that she uh, set on uh, on this on this movie. I think she's in good company. It seems like good family all the way around. It was a role she was destined for. The movie leaves you hanging for possibly a sequel. I would love to see this happen. In the meantime, Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley. Quinn in theaters everywhere. The Academy Awards on Sunday night where she's nominated for Bombshell. Back to you. More Extra Butter, you can tune in with Marcus Allen every Friday at 9.30 a.m. right here on ABC 10. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.